Hey, 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 good looking. What's what we are cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine, swing it out of my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, I'm going to sit there and show you just how easy it is to make fresh bruschetta. So, grab a hold of that vine and swing out of my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Show you a quick way of doing bruschetta. What I have here is some cherry tomatoes, a red onion, and a sweet white onion. Now I'm going to go ahead quarter up the tomatoes. And as you see, I quartered up each of the cherry tomatoes. Now I'm going to peel each of the onions, and we're going to finally dice them all up and add them to the quartered up tomatoes and there's the quartered up tomatoes the diced up red onion and the diced up sweet onion okay now down in this dish we're gonna sit there put some salt and pepper so let's go ahead and do that and folks I am sorry if the camera is shaking cuz I'm not doing it with the tripod And then I have some dried minced garlic that I dehydrated myself. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And now we're going to sit there and add maybe two teaspoons of olive oil. Stir this all up. Now I also have a small palmful of the dehydrated red and green peppers. They're the sweet ones, so put them all in. And now let's go ahead and mix this all up. We're go now going to let this macerate up. In other words, we're just going to let the tomato and the peppers and the onion all have one hell of a party inside the bowl for about 30 minutes or to an hour. Right? Now we're going to sit there and drain any of the liquid that has accumulated in the bruschetta here. I have a strainer along with a bowl. We're going to put all this mixture in the strainer and allow any of the liquids to go down into the bowl and we'll put all this back into the bowl we're taking it out of. And there we go. The hubby is trying to outsmart, outwit <laughs> the wifey here and it ain't working. Now put this all back in. Here is all our liquid. Now we're going to start up our grill. I have some French bread here. I'm going to sit there and put that all down on top of the black stone griddle. I have some balsamic glaze. I have some fresh mozzarella pearls and we're going to be using some of my fresh basil. Our black stone griddle is all heated up. Now I'm just going to sit there, grab some of the French bread here, and we're going to place it down and we're going to toast up each side. And just keep checking them. Let's check them again. Ooh, that one's just starting. I'm going to turn that one. Turning that one. And you get the idea. Just keep toasting these on both sides. And there you see, 
to turning nice and golden brown. That's what you want. Okay, I'm going to show you quickly how we assemble it. Now, I take some of this bruschetta and go ahead, spread that over the top of each toasted French roll that's thinly sliced and toasted, such as that. Now, I have some of my fresh basil here. I'm just going to sit there and grab a few of my leaves and we're going to sit there place a leaf or two on each slice of French bread with the bruschetta and now I have some of the mozzarella pearls and we're going to sit there and place one or two of the pearls on top of the bruschetta now some of the good stuff we take some of this balsamic glaze or some of you might know it as balsamic drizzle usually I make my own but sometimes I just don't feel like it and I will go and use the pre-made stuff and go ahead give it a good drizzle over the bruschetta and then it's Bon Appetit. Now let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That balsamic drizzle on top of the freshly made bruschetta of the tomatoes, the red onion, the sweet white onion along with the peppers in there and mm, that little mozzarella pearl mm. now that's what I call an appetizer here's to happy cooking but better yet happy eatings and y'all come back now you hear now please be sure to give me a big old thumbs up be sure to share this recipe and most of all, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. And if you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you'll always be notified every time I do put out a new video. And y'all have a great day.